All right, so today's episode was actually supposed to be about something completely different, but with uh, the news of uh, the Baseball Hall of Fame inductees uh, being announced today, I wanted to switch it up and do something different. Okay, quick story time before we um, get into the uh, meat and potatoes of this video. I um, want to give this uh, a little uh, context. Uh, the video that you're about to watch is uh, my version of a TBT for uh, this week. We, uh, we go back to about 2014 um, when uh, I was kind of vying for a spot in uh, this thing called the MLV Fan Cave. And for those of you that don't know, um, what that is. It's uh, basically the uh, the social media hub of Major League Baseball that was centered around this space in downtown Manhattan where a handful of hardcore baseball fans lived there, sat there, watched every single baseball game throughout the entire 162 game season for every single team and uh, created content and um, kind of uh, acted as the, the social media um, gurus for Major League Baseball and I thought that was the coolest thing in the world I kind of had nothing going on at the time and so I um, I kind of uh, dove into uh, creating the best uh, my, my best pitch to be uh, one of those uh, cave dwellers as they were called and so um, I, I pulled out all the stops contacted everyone I knew that knew any kind of baseball players and uh, landed on uh, Professor Randy Grossman who is uh, uh, one of my professors in law school Thomas Jefferson School of Law in San Diego congratulations Professor Grossman um, and thanks again for the really op uh, awesome opportunity um, but he is also um, a baseball agent and one of his clients was uh, uh, goes by the name of Tim Raines, and he lived in uh, Goodyear, Arizona, and he actually still does. And he arranged so graciously for him to uh, knock out a couple of hours of uh, hanging out with me, talking on camera, conducting an interview, um, having some fun, and uh, uh, that was one of the coolest uh, experiences, kind of meeting uh, a, a legend, uh, some a guy that I had... Uh, dozens of baseball cards with his face and name on it um, and uh, he could not have been a nicer guy who could not have been more down to earth and uh, and humble um, and also could not be more deserving of the honor of going to Cooperstown and being enshrined and immortalized in the Baseball Hall of Fame and so um, it was a little bit of a longer interview. We, we cut it down to just a few minutes, but what I want to show you is a little fun game that the, the two of us played called Name That Jerry Curl, because he um, was famous for having a very glorious Jerry Curl back in the 80s. Along with a lot of um, other um, African-American and uh, and Latin players, they love those Jerry curls, but he rocked it better than most. And um, I wanted to see uh, if he could pick out uh, famous Jerry curls from around the league from back in the 80s. So, without further ado, here is 2014 Ryan and Tim Raines playing Name That Jerry Curl. All right, right now we are going to play America's favorite game, Name That Jerry Curl. Tim Wrights. It's a new game to me, man. I don't know about this kind of stuff, even though I was a Jerry Curl guy back then. Uh, that's exactly why you are probably the <laughs> authority on Jerry Curls, and probably, I think I, I, I read something unofficially voted second best Jerry Curl in Canada in the 1980s. Oh my god! <laughs> it's unofficial. Unofficial. Oh, I never heard that. Unofficial. I never heard that. I never heard that. And uh, I, I think I read something in your contract that there was an activator clause, uh, like some. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the rules are simple for Name That Jerry Curl. I'm going to show you a picture of a famous Jerry Curl. You may or may not uh, recognize, and the face will be blurred out. And you can just venture a guess, and we'll uh, name that Jerry Curl. So okay. our first Jerry Curl belongs to a former teammate of yours, 
He was on the Expos from 87 to 89, but in enjoyed uh, an 11-year career in the major leagues. Pitcher, name that Jerry Curl. That's Pasquale Perez. That is Pasquale Perez. Very good. <laughs> Amazing. He knows his Jerry Curls, ladies well, and Well, he, he, he worked well with that. I mean, he put it on his fingers, man, he had that ball sinking all over. Oh, him. my. <laughs> He got that amazing action yes, on his ball. Yes. All right, our second Jerry Curl belongs to another former teammate of yours. You guys are very close. And uh, he split his time between the Expos and the Cubs before ending his Hall of Fame career. Oh, that's Andre. It, yeah, that's Andre. Andre Dawson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, look at how gl glorious that wow. thing is. <laughs> I think he's still happy. I'm not sure. Does he? I think I saw him in that that, uh, that State Farm commercial where he comes out of the yeah. Ivy. I think they put a Jericho wig on him. For yeah. That one. All right. You uh, weren't teammates, but he was a former Expo, Red Sox, and uh, New York Met. Uh, probably still uh, sporting that Jericho right now on TBS post yeah. uh, the postseason. Pedro Martinez. Pedro Martinez. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that cheeser smile. All right. Finally, this is going to be a tricky one. For the Jerry Curl connoisseur. Now, this wasn't a baseball player per se. I don't know if you can see that picture, but he is a famous singer in Queens in the 1980s, and he played Joe the Policeman in the What's Going Down episode of That's My Mama. Oh yeah. Name that Jerry Curl. I, I don't know his name, but I know who that is. I don't know. Why uh, well, 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 you venture a guess? Well, like, talk us through it. Oh. I, 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 just, I, I, I see his face and I see the Jerry curl, but I just can't. The name just is not computing for some reason. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna give you the answer, and that is Randy Watson, played by Eddie Murphy in the okay. movie is Coming Eddie to Murphy? America. In Coming to America. Right. Right. He sprayed that soul glow in there. Yeah, the soul glow. <laughs> just let that. it shine through. <laughs> <laughs> and for okay, we're gonna flash the the picture of Rock Reigns with his glorious Jerry curl on, on the screen right now. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful, perfect. All right, uh, Tim's a really busy man, and we are out of time. So once again, Tim, thank you so much for your time. It's been an absolute thrill for me to sit and chat with you for as long as we did. Um, I know if we had time, and if you were. Uh, not busy, I would be able to sit and talk to you forever. So thank you once again. You know what? I tell you what, man. If you could take care of my twin girls for a few <laughs> hours, that would be lovely. Oh, you know what? I'm an experienced babysitter. I can do whatever you want. All right. All right. Uh, until next time, this is Tim Raines. I'm Ryan Siriaco. I just want to take one more moment again to congratulate Tim Raines on uh, being inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame. I think it's the coolest uh, thing ever and I'm definitely going to be watching uh, that, uh, that speech uh, this summer when, um, when uh, you are, are finally enshrined in uh, that, uh, those hallowed halls out there in Cooperstown. So congrats uh, again, Professor Grossman, thank you very much for a really cool um, memory that I'm going to always uh, remember for the rest of my life. And uh, back to the regularly scheduled content tomorrow.